I'm Margaret Brando from Stanford University. I'm one of the diversity, equity, and inclusion ambassadors. The project I worked on is analyzing diversity in the INFORMS journal editorial boards. This is work I did with a student named Laker Newhouse. So what we did is for each of the 16 INFORMS journals, we identified the editor-in-chief and then the department editor or associate editors. There were a total of 499 editors. Then we looked at demographic factors of these editors. We looked at how many were women, how many were underrepresented minorities, which is defined as African American, Black, Mexican American, Native American, or Alaska Native, Native Hawaiian, or other Pacific Islanders. And we looked at home institution. We also did a network analysis to identify connectivity between individual editors. And connectivity was defined as co-author relationships. We did this using a Google Scholar web scrape and we created some network visualizations. So we found out that women comprise just under 20% of the INFORMS editorial board members. And this varies widely by journals. So this is the, uh, for the 16 different INFORMS journals, this graph shows the fraction of women on that journal's editorial board. So the largest fraction of women was for the journal Organization Science, perhaps not surprisingly, since many women are in organizations. The smallest was in the journal Stochastic Systems and other journals ranged uh, in between these values, um, with an average being about 20%. We also found that the number of underrepresented minorities on the editorial boards is less than 1%. We found that 10 institutions, which is less than 5% of the total institutions of the 499 editors, 10 institutions account for more than one fourth of the editors. So here's a uh, histogram of institutions uh, showing the number of editors for each. So Columbia, Stanford, Cornell, University of Pennsylvania, et cetera. So the top 10 accounted for, uh, they were less than 5% of the total, but they accounted for more than one fourth of the editors. Now, I mentioned that we did a study of connectivity because it's not just about demographic diversity, it's about diversity of thought. So we found that some of the INFORMS journals have high levels of connectivity between board members where we're measuring connectivity by the simple metric of did they co-author a publication together. Uh, this varied by journal. So for example, this is a picture for the INFORMS Journal on Applied Analytics. Uh, the uh, editor-in-chief is shown in red, the other editors are shown in blue dots, and then a link between two individuals shows if they're connected by a co-author relationship. So for this journal, there's not much connection. On the other hand, let's pick another journal, Marketing Science. For this journal, you can see there's quite a lot of connectivity between the different editorial board members. So some of the INFORMS journals have high levels of connectivity. So low levels of diversity, high levels of connectivity. We have come up with the following recommendations. First, when INFORMS has an editor-in-chief search committee, they should seek a broad pool of candidates. Second, when they interview candidates for editor-in-chief position, they should ask the, the candidates about their diversity plan. And again, I mean not just demographic diversity, but diversity of thoughts and ideas. When new editor-in-chiefs come, they often inherit an editorial board, that is members who have a certain term that isn't up yet. So new editors-in-chief should review the existing editorial board that they perhaps have inherited, and decide whether changes are needed. In addition, when an editor-in-chief is thinking of assigning a new editorial board member, this editor-in-chief should ask these potential board members to report their relationships with existing board members. Did you write a paper with this person? Is this person your thesis advisor? Is this person in your same department, etc.? So that's a helpful way of understanding relationships. And finally, we think that editorial board diversity should be reviewed regularly by the uh, INFORMS uh, editors-in-chief as well as the INFORMS publication board. 
So this is a very rapid overview of our study. We've written an article which we hope to submit to an informed journal. Thank you very much. And I will take any questions that anyone may have after the videos show.